What's going on guys? It's Zach back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the concept of thinking of the end versus thinking from the end and how I think if you can just make this one little adjustment, it's the master key when it comes to creating the life of your dreams. I notice for a lot of people when they first get into conscious creation or manifestation, especially when they first stumble across the law of attraction through things like The Secret or you know one of these infinite YouTubers that are out here talking about these concepts, usually, well, not usually, but a lot of the time what happens is people enter this space and they start to consciously create and they find life to become significantly more challenging. Now, what we have to realize is that we're always manifesting, whether we were conscious of it or not, you know, from the moment that we were born, really Really, even in our just our spiritual essence, you know, light energy beings traveling throughout the universe, we were always manifesting. And it wasn't just that you started manifesting when you learned about this information. However, what did happen is you started to take a lot more time in analyzing your thoughts and looking at your mental patterns and, and realizing kind of how the thoughts and the feelings that you, you know, hold on a regular basis are manifesting your external world. Understanding this concept that you are manifesting everything is absolutely crucial to, you know, hold on to during this journey. Um, when I say that thinking of the end is usually the biggest issue that stands in your way, it's just that little issue. You start to look at these things that you want to create and focus so much on them, and you tend to forget that you were always creating everything. And now, just because you have this conscious knowledge of how things are created, a lot of the time what that does is have you start to put excess on importance on the things that you want to bring into your space consciously. In a nutshell, what that is is thinking of the end. You have this idea of what you want to create, and you're looking at it from where you are your current space you know your current state of being your current energy your current environment all where etc from all of this bubble you're looking out at the thing that you want to create saying that over there is something I want to bring into my space when I say thinking from the end is the switch that you have to make it really does go hand in hand with Neville Goddard's concepts of you know living in the end right being the person that you want to be right here right now you make the conscious effort you know you make the conscious decision to bring that intention into your space now the way that this happens in the easiest most effortless form is simply to allow allow your subconscious mind to bring it about in the way that it you know is most natural and you know for us most of us there is this bridge of incidents that is a mostly internal journey it's a journey of you know slow progressive realization of getting to the end result now for most people in this community you're looking to create financial abundance or you're looking to create you know um, you know specific person uh, love intimacy with another individual now when you're so unfamiliar with these states of being right maybe abundance financial abundance is so far out of your norm that you you, you can't even fathom what that's like or um, maybe being in an intimate relationship is something you've never had or being in one that is totally stable, totally drama free is something you've just never had and so vibing with that state of being is something that's really difficult for you. When we set the intention and we start to let go and we start to go on the journey, you know, be more present, that's really the process. You go through this mental journey of your subconscious mind helping you to realize more and more that state of being every day, you know, every minute, every second, you are progressively attaining that realization in time and space is quite simply just these you know frames that are helping you to get to that point it's like a play almost again most of us when we first learn about these concepts we get kind of caught in this drama of thinking oh well I I'm consciously creating right so I have to have my attention on this thing all the time in fact it's quite the opposite right if you were the person that was already in that state of being if you already were the millionaire if you already had the, you know the the loving marriage that you desire would you be thinking of how you can get it, right? Would you be thinking of what actions you need to take in order to bring it about? Well, no, you wouldn't because it's happening naturally. Yes, you would be going out and doing things most likely to generate more and more business success every day, but it wouldn't be a struggle. It would not be something that you feel this emotional, physical toil, you know, that you, you feel like this toil is required to get those results. It just wouldn't be like that. It would be a natural process. You know, somebody like Mark Cuban simply goes out and creates new businesses. He knows the process. It's a natural thing for him. Now, this is where these concepts become incredibly difficult for most people people to grasp because they're still looking at creating what they want to create from the position of their human mind from the position of you know mortal struggle of needing to um, see a process of cause and effect to go out and actually make the change right what Stephen Haw or David Hawking would call force based programming force based action when we are to leverage the law of conscious creation the law of uh, assumption and the law of attraction we have to realize that 
This requires putting our human mind on the back burner and simply allowing ourselves to saturate in the feeling of the wish fulfilled. When we can do this on a regular basis and we can really practice the art of letting go and being present, we'll find that by programming our subconscious minds with that um, you know, impression of a reality that we're looking to create and doing it over and over again to the point where it feels natural, we will then simply start to take the action, think the thoughts, feel the feelings that we need to feel in alignment with that and result naturally. It will not be a process of extraneous effort. It will not be a process of um, toil and struggle. I have many examples of this um, and I'll probably make you know deeper explanations explanations in the future on YouTube, but um, a primary example for me is is the SP thing. Um, one of the reasons I do feel confident that I can make SP videos, um, even though I haven't had like the most perfect of SP journeys, is because every time I have set the intention to bring about a specific person, it has always happened. It has not happened in the easiest of ways, but the struggle has been in my desire to control, in my desire to manipulate, in thinking that there are things that I have to do along the journey. This is why um, out of all the teachers, I, I really appreciate Neville Goddard and I appreciate kind of the ancient mystics of, of the Bible and the Kabbalion the most because it is not about doing anything. It is quite literally about being so brazen in your assumption that it is already done that you don't feel the pressure to make anything happen. Yes, inspired action does come into play, but realize that you can quite literally sit there and let things come to you, but you have to be in that feeling of it is done and I absolutely trust and I can be present, right? Even sometimes the, the, the feeling of you know sitting there and doing nothing can be a struggle. Right? It can be something that you're, you're forcing yourself to do that. You should be at no point forcing yourself to do anything. Sometimes people ask me, you know, do I need to do no, no contact with my specific person? You know, I'm trying to bring this lover back into my life. Do I need to do no contact? Well, are you forcing yourself to do no contact? Or do you understand that, hey, I can step back from this person and, and let go control. I don't have to control this. And that way, my subconscious mind can bring them about in ways that are not fathomable by my human moral perspective. I'm letting the universe, you know, take its course. I understand that infinity can bring about anything and it can bring about it, it can bring it about, right, in, in, in infinite ways. Realize that anytime you're forcing yourself to do something, anytime that you are feeling this, this pressure, you are not truly living in the end. You are not truly thinking from the end, you are thinking of the end, and you're creating all of these scenarios of how things can come to be. You're starting to you know, shut doors on ways that seem impossible to you. And by doing that, you're narrowing the focus more and more and more and more to the point where you know, the whole of how things can come about becomes, becomes so small that really your thing just can't fit through anymore. So think of it that way. Um, but remember, when you think from the end, as you are you know, the, the most idealized version that you are trying to become, would they be stressing about this? No, and you don't even have to ask yourself that question. You simply put yourself in that perspective and then what do you think about? Your problems are gone, right? They, they don't even come into play. So this is a progressive journey, you guys. This is not necessarily easy stuff to do, but it is a lot simpler than people make it out to be. And I think if you can you know, ask yourself that question, am I thinking of the end or am I thinking from the end? That is really the most instrumental question that you can ask that will help you to, you know, critique your approach and really start to welcome those manifestations into your life that, you know, have seemed so elusive up until this point. So if you're interested in conscious creation, lifestyle optimization coaching, I have a free consultation available for you for your first time, 45 minutes, link below to sign up. Other than that, guys, uh, subscribe to my channel, hit that little notification bell so you know my videos come out. Drop a comment, shoot me an email if you have any questions or, or anything that you'd like to run my way. I'd be happy to chat with you guys. And until next time, much love. Namaste. Talk to you later. Bye.